I'm Alan Weiss, and this is The Writing on the Wall. Welcome back to Writing on the Wall. The topic today I'm so incensed about that I'm going to be carefully reading my notes. The topic today is spamming, a phenomenon that began with the internet, I guess, if you're, unless you want to consider junk mail before that. I ask you this question. Who would do business with some stranger who's obtained your email address and is offering, oh, I don't know, SEO or Google search numbers crap? buyer's names and long lists for, I don't know, nickel and name, investment opportunities, lottery winnings, help getting some prince's money out of a country. I love it when they address me as dear, by the way. That tells me pretty much where it's coming from. Who would buy from these people? I love the return address which is supposedly, you know, something you've received from American Express or Chase or Bank of America, but the return address doesn't say .org or .com. It says .ng or some other country in Africa or some country in Eastern Europe. It's very clever, very intelligent. Now, I'm getting hundreds of offers for translation services these days. <laughs> All of these people want to translate any language. I don't know what the scam is. I mean, I'm not that interested. But suddenly I get all these translation offers. There are people uh, who come to you on LinkedIn. And as soon as you agree to link, they immediately solicit you. And they don't care who they're talking to. There are people offering me ghostwriting services. They offer me advice on how I can improve my fees. <laughs> they offer me advice on how to market and how to consult. They don't care who they're talking to. They just talk. It's this blanket hit. What amazes me is that while I can't imagine anyone doing anything with all of these people, somebody must be because they figure if they get one hit out of 100,000, they're making money. Of course, the answer to this is to charge a half a percent or something for every email sent, and that would put an end to it, but that's never going to happen. Who invests in land in Croatia? or some new miracle drug. Can this tiny amount of people who are so stupid, so naive, so innocent that they respond to this, sustain all these people? Well, they must. Why else would they do it? One guy actually quoted Earl Nightingale and Napoleon Hill, whom I can't tolerate, but he quoted these two people today to me. He had all their affirmations, all their silly platitudes, all their empty-headed nonsense telling me how they gave him guidance in cheating. I said to him, how can you actively try to cheat people? We both know that you don't have money to give people. And he quoted me these people. They were his, his influence, his motivation, his inspiration for wanting to go ahead and cheat more people. I guess that's about a positive mental attitude. These aren't people offering any kind of value. They're just chasing a crooked, illegitimate buck. They don't have the talent to succeed on providing value, so they try to scam. And I don't know about you, but I've never found a criminal who's really all that bright. I regard multi-level marketing, as you probably know, as just a Ponzi scheme. In the same way, people who get their early first couple of levels make money, and by the fourth level, there's not much left to make and people are out of money. I don't care if they're selling detergent or phone cards or what they're selling, it's a Ponzi scheme. I've gone to a meeting, a networking meeting. What do you call it? Network marketing, multi-level marketing, whatever a euphemism they give it. I went to one, so I wasn't just speaking out of sorts. What was it really like? Guy drives up in a big Cadillac, a big, as though Cadillac's all that impressive these days, with a pinky ring, uh, and starts touting the benefits of how everyone can be a hero. Everyone can make money now. Everyone can be whatever they want to be. Yeah, as long as other people get cheated. At what cost? No multi-level marketing scheme 
No Ponzi scheme ever contributed to the environment or to society. There's no there there. And you're all using those phone cards and laundry detergents, right? And so you have as much cheating and as, as much crookedness here locally, domestically, as you do internationally with this stuff. You have no more chance making big money in multi-level marketing than you do taking some Nigerian prince's offer to invest his money safely here after you send him 10,000 bucks as a deposit. I'm sorry, you have to work to succeed, and crime isn't work.